The equipment you will need in order to take a set of blood cultures includes an adult blood culture pack, an apron, a sharps box, a set of blood culture bottles usually consisting of an aerobic and anaerobic bottle, alcohol hand rub which can be found at the patient's bedside, clinal wipes, and a tourniquet. The contents of the adult blood culture pack include a pair of sterile gloves, size 7.5. If you use gloves of a different size, you will need to obtain the right size glove for you from the ward. A sterile towel in order to create a sterile field on which to place the equipment you will be using for the procedure. One chlorhexidine in alcohol wipe to disinfect the bottle tops. One chloraprep applicator containing 0.67 ml of 2% chlorhexidine in alcohol to prep the skin. One safety blood collection set complete with green butterfly needle, holder and lure lock. One spare blue butterfly needle just in case a different size needle is needed. A pack of five gauze swabs, a yellow plastic bag and an adhesive stick. Start by cleaning your hands with alcohol hand rub by applying two pumpfuls of alcohol and carefully rubbing your hands until the alcohol has fully evaporated. Introduce yourself to the patient, confirm the patient's identity and explain the procedure. Using a clinel wipe, clean the surface on which you will be laying out the equipment and allow it to dry. It is important to use a stable surface and not the patient's bed. Wear the apron. Once again, clean your hands with alcohol hand rub. Place your equipment and the items of the blood culture pack on the surface you have just cleaned. Attach the yellow plastic bag provided to the side of the work surface being used. Carefully open the sterile towel onto your work surface by grabbing it at the edges, making sure not to contaminate the towel whilst doing so. Open each piece of equipment, except for the chloraprep applicator and the chlorhexidine and alcohol wipe, onto the sterile field, once again taking care not to contaminate the sterile items whilst doing so. Ensure the blood culture bottles are good for use by checking the bottle's expiry date. Remove the seal from the blood culture bottles, in turn. Fully open the 2% chlorhexidine in alcohol wipe carefully, as shown, and lay it into the palm of one hand. Present the blood culture bottle onto the center of the wipe and scrub the top for 20 seconds using a few different parts of the wipe. It is important to create friction and allow the bottle tops to dry fully before use. The reason why this step is performed is that the blood culture bottles manufacturer does not guarantee that the bottle tops are sterile even though they are sealed. Apply alcohol hand rub once again and allow your hands to dry. Using a clinel wipe, clean the tourniquet. Apply the tourniquet and select the venipuncture site, ideally choosing the hand veins or veins of the antecubital fossa, leaving the femoral veins as a last resort due to a higher risk of contamination when sampling from the latter. Do not use existing cannulas or sites above them. Remove the chloraprep applicator from its cover, pinch once and allow the cotton tip to soak. Next, gently dab onto the patient's skin. Proceed to clean the venipuncture site with the applicator starting from the center of the site and moving back and forth in a zigzag pattern for 30 seconds. You must allow the liquid to dry in order to kill any organisms on the patient's skin. Chlorhexidine is preferred to iodine in view of its residual antiseptic effect and faster drying time. Discard used applicator into the sharps box. Perform hand hygiene once again and allow your hands to dry. Now put on the sterile gloves to maintain sterility in case you would need to repalpate for the patient's vein. Grab the safety blood collection set and remove the butterfly needle from its protective plastic cover. Perform venipuncture. Stabilize the butterfly needle onto the patient's skin making sure to allow ease of access to the vacutainer holder. Next, fill the blood culture bottles by inoculating the aerobic bottle first, as most pathogenic organisms grow in aerobic conditions. Position the blood culture bottle as shown to ensure that the liquid contents do not reflux back into the patient, which may lead to anaphylaxis.
The blood culture volume to be aspirated into each bottle is crucial for the detection of a bacteremia and will vary according to the type of blood culture bottle being used. Further information on the required volumes can be found in the Infection Control Blood Culture Policy on the hospital intranet. Proceed to fill any other bottles or tubes as needed and release the tourniquet. Apply the gauze swabs over the exit site. Carefully remove the needle from the venipuncture site as shown. A clicking sound must be heard to confirm that the needle is safely retracted into the device. Safely discard the needle with tubing and vacutainer holder as a hole into the sharps container and apply an adhesive stick to the venipuncture site. Remove your gloves. Gently rotate the blood culture bottles to mix the blood and broth. Do not shake them vigorously. Once ready, clear up and dispose of used items using the yellow plastic bag provided. Remove the apron and once again clean your hands with alcohol hand rub. An online request needs to be filled in for each individual bottle. Select the appropriate microbiological investigation, making sure that the blood culture for mycology, mycobacteria or from central lines are requested using their own specific request. Provide appropriate clinical details such as travel history, animal contact, presumptive diagnosis, comorbidities, the presence of prosthetic implants, immunosuppression, and antimicrobial therapy, as these may affect the processing of the specimen in the lab. When labeling the specimen, do not cover the barcode found at the side of the bottle, and do not cover the bottle's underside, as the sample can't be processed unless both these areas are exposed. Do not stick and then remove the label from the bottle's underside as any residual glue may interfere with lab equipment. A request form should accompany each blood culture bottle. Do not use a pneumatic tube system, but hand deliver the sample as soon as possible to the pathology reception.